What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got two stories, in my opinion, that I want to combine into one as we discuss the current Chicago Bulls situation in terms of the trade deadline and, of course, free agency acquisitions for next year. At the end of the day, these are really interesting stories to come out, not just for the Bulls side, but, of course, from other teams as well. And I would like to kind of discuss if it makes sense for some of these things to happen for the Chicago Bulls and whether or not it could possibly be done. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the current Chicago Bull situation with the trade period and free agency acquisitions and the current situation that we're in. What do you expect from the Chicago Bulls? What do you expect them to do in the future? The first piece of news I want to talk about is the current situation for the Chicago Bulls. They are looking to be a buying market for this trade period and, of course, free agency as well. They are looking to be buyers in this market. Fantastic news to hear. Obviously, I think a lot of people in the Bulls fans specifically would say that we are one or two pieces away from becoming a championship caliber team. We have a really strong team at the moment. We are second in the East or third in the East, whatever it is right now. We are one of the top contenders in the Eastern Conference at the moment. And many people believe we could potentially get to that level where we could be competing for championships. That's fantastic to hear. And obviously the Bulls might see it the same way as they're looking to become buyers in this market. That's beautiful in my opinion. I expected nothing less from the Chicago Bulls. Again, the Bulls evaluate the situation just like many of us evaluate the situation. And in the end, it looks like they clearly see what a lot of people see as well. We are a couple of pieces away from becoming a championship caliber team. I hope that is the case and I hope we can eventually get there. But with that being said, that makes a lot of sense into what's going to be talked about in the remaining part of this video. The fact that the Chicago Bulls are buyers, and now it's time to look at other teams in the NBA. There are two teams specifically that I want to talk about here, and judging by those two teams, you could clearly talk about the players in those respective teams. First the Detroit Pistons, and the Portland Trailblazers. Two teams that have currently come out with a lot of news about their players that makes it very interesting from the Bulls' side to see if we can make possible deals happen. Now, I'm not saying these are rumors. I'm not saying these are going to happen. In fact, some of these might be very difficult to take place. But with the news coming out for those respective teams and the news coming out for the Chicago Bulls, maybe we can make something happen with one of those teams. Early time's going to tell. And at the end of the day, it all depends on whether or not the Bulls would want to do anything with these teams. So, with the first player to talk about is Jeremy Grant from the Detroit Pistons. It has come out recently that the Detroit Pistons are looking for trade partners for Jeremy Grant and they are open to trading him. Now, at the end of the day, there are many people on this channel that are big fans of Jeremy Grant, as am I. Now, with the Chicago Bulls looking for a wing defender, I'm not sure Jeremy Grant is the absolute best option for that position, but he's definitely someone that I can see as well suited for a position like, the, like that for the Chicago Bulls a wing defender, a natural scorer, can drop 20 points on occasion, and again, could probably fit right into that power forward position. And again, he's a big fan favorite over here. And with that news being brought out to the world, ladies and gentlemen, there could be a potential avenue if the Chicago Bulls want to pursue it to go and attack a trade for Jeremy Grant. In my opinion, I've always said Jeremy Grant is one of the hardest to uh, deals to do for the Chicago Bulls. I don't think the salary makes sense unless we trade either Vucevic or, uh, I guess... Uh, DeMar or Zach or whatever the case may be a really large contract for a large contract I'd say we do have a trade exemption so that could definitely help in that situation as well it's a tough deal to do but I wouldn't say it's impossible and that's why I'm talking about it now ladies and gentlemen I think it's a really good idea for the Chicago Bulls to try and pursue a trade for Jeremy Grant it's not going to be easy. It's, it's going to be very difficult. He's a very good player. And there's going to be multiple teams around the league that will be very interested in a trade for Jeremy Grant. He's still very young. And at the end of the day, he's close to his contract being expired. So it's going to be a risky one to do as well. But if the Chicago Bulls could do it, we might just be at that stage where we could probably compete for a championship. We might have to give a young asset in return. Maybe we give up a pick. That's probably what Detroit want. They're rebuilding at the end of the day. They want trade assets. They want players that maybe could be valuable for them in the long term. They want picks. 
that's probably what they're going for for Jeremy Grant. And at the end of the day, it's definitely a situation. Maybe the Bulls can provide what they want. And maybe Jeremy Grant would want to come to a winning franchise at the moment and try to compete for something greater than, I guess, a lottery spot for the draft. I'm not too sure how the Detroit Pistons will feel about a trade between the Bulls and the Pistons. We are rivals at the end of the day in many ways. Again, history uh, shows that. And maybe trading in the Eastern Conference is not what Detroit want to do. At the end of the day, I can't tell. I don't know the situation. But if we do have the assets Detroit wants, I don't see why a trade can't be done, especially if they're specifically looking for a trade to be done. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. But it's definitely something we can look at. And maybe there's a possibility there. Another player that I want to talk about is from the Portland Trailblazers. His name is Robert Covington, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he is someone that has recently been put up for trade by the Portland Trailblazers. He's definitely been someone that's been considered as a buyer option. But it looks like before we get to that stage, it could be a potential avenue for someone to trade for a player like Robert, Co Robert Covington, I should say. And this is a ne definitely an interesting one. There are a lot of people that I think... As a realistic option, Covington is one of those realistic options. He's someone that costs $12 million uh, per season, I think. I'm not sure about his contract situation. You can let me know about that in the comments below. But he's worth $12 million. He's someone that, at the end of the day, we can definitely use the trade exemption for as well. Fits right into the team. He's a 3 and D type player. He's a defensive wing, which we've been looking for. We need someone to help on that defensive end, guard some of the bigger players. That's exactly what we want in that situation. And Robert Covington, I believe, does that. And he's someone that can knock down the three-point shot. I don't believe he's had his best season so far. And I guess that's the reason why he's been put up for trade. But at the end of the day, someone's trash is another man's treasure. If we can get Robert Covington on this team, instantly we become a better team and instantly we fix some we fix some of the problems that we do have when it comes to size issues. Issues in who's going to guard players like Julius Randle, who's going to guard players like Giannis, who's going to guard players like Kevin Durant. At the end of the day, they're high quality, very good athletes, very good players, and some of them are just impossible to guard. But putting Robert Covington into the team... We kind of help ourselves in a situation where maybe we can slow them down instead of stopping them entirely. That's definitely something we can look at. And I would absolutely love Covington on this team. I think he was very, I think he's been, he was born in Chicago, born very close to Chicago. So I know many people are big fans of him from here as well. That makes perfect sense. And I think it's very ideal for the Chicago Bulls to pursue a trade for Robert Covington. But at the end of the day, he's also a buyer option. So. It might be beneficial for the Bulls to be patient for the, for Portland and see whether or not there are any other trade avenues for Covington. Because if there isn't, if he's having a poor season and teams are not interested in Covington, there's a potential, I guess, situation there where he could be in a buyout situation. Very similar to players like Thaddeus Young that's getting okay or not much game time for the Spurs, but he's a good player. Maybe other teams want him, but maybe the salary that he's on is not worth it for other teams to pursue a trade. So buyouts will have to happen. Maybe the buyout happens for Thaddeus Young. A buyout could definitely happen for um, for Robert Covington as well. And I think he would definitely choose the Chicago Bulls because he fits everything that we need. And he definitely knows there's a starting spot for him here. And it's definitely a position where he will get game time on this team. It makes a lot of sense in my opinion. That's the one that I think the Bulls should pursue because it's a realistic option. It's an option that's not going to cost us a lot of money and it's also an option that could definitely make us a better team. These are the two players, ladies and gentlemen, that are part, part of trade rumors at the moment for their respective teams and of course in positions that I think the Chicago Bulls should be going for. I would love any one of these two players on this team and I think any of one of these two players would make us a much better team in total and fixes a lot of issues that we may have. However, only one of them, I believe, could potentially be a true asset for the Chicago Bulls. I'd find it very hard to believe if we go after Jeremy Grant. I just don't see that being ideal for the team. I don't see that happening. But many people are big fans of him and they would want that deal to happen. So if there is a chance there, I'm sure many people would take it in a heartbeat. I think I would be one of those people as well. And Robert Covington is probably the, mo the most realistic option out of the two players. He's not the best player out of the two. He's one that is, again, he's getting up there in age. He's not someone that's going to be, I guess, here for the long term for the Chicago Bulls. But he's a good player, and he definitely makes us makes our team better for now. And if we're a buyer in this market, maybe we go for a player that 
is a little bit short term, but we could definitely use him for now because that's obviously what we're trying to do is win now. So it's an interesting conversation to have, ladies and gentlemen, but nevertheless, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below who you think the Chicago Bulls should pursue out of those two players. Again, this is not a rumors video. I'm not saying the Bulls are interested or leaked to any of these players. I'm not saying anything of that nature. It's about two players that are in trade conversations at the moment for their respective teams and two players that I think fit the mold of what Chicago is trying to do. That's pursue a defensive wing and that's be buyers in this market. So there's obviously a conversation there to be had about those two players. And I think they do make sense in terms of what Chicago is trying to do. If we can get one of them or both of them, fantastic. If not, we swiftly move on and see what the Bulls do end up, ha um, end up doing. Because at the end of the day, it's a big conversation and definitely, if we're looking to be buyers, that's a, that's a very exciting time for many Bulls fans. We want to know what exactly is going to happen with the Bulls. And nothing's off the table. Nothing's impossible. We saw that with Lonzo signing here. We saw that with the trade with Vucevic. At the end of the day, it's good to talk about this stuff because if it does happen, then at the end of the day, you've had that discussion. You know what it's going to feel like and it's excitement at the end of the day. I was very happy when we got Vucevic. That was a big surprise. And if we do make another big surprise this season, I might not be as surprised, but I'm going to be very happy with the team. So let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful and safe day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.